What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 40 minute upper body push superset workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up guys? I'm so excited that you're here today for our upper body push workout. We're going to be targeting our chest and our tricep muscles today. So I have around me my water and my sweat towel, of course, make sure you have yours. Also I have my bench that I'm going to bring out for my chest press and my chest flies and also my overhead extensions laying down. You do not need a bench, so if you don't have one, no worries, we're going to rock right here on the mat. But if you do and you want to bring it out, go ahead and grab it. Okay. As for my dumbbells, we've got things in the lighter end as far as triceps, like tricep extensions, and then the chest, we have a chest fly laying down flat, so those weights for you will be your lightest weights. For me, I'll stick somewhere between my 10 and my 15 pound dumbbells for those. Then we move up to chest press and overhead extensions, which will probably be your heaviest weight. So somewhere up into the 30, 35, 40, if you're feeling good about your chest press, or if I'm feeling good about my chest press, I should say, pick weights that work best for you, okay? Ones that challenge you, and ones that you can rock through in superset style. We have two exercises that we'll go back and forth with, three rounds, 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest, okay? So I really want you pushing that heavy weight as 30 seconds should allow you to get about eight good reps in, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into your warm up. Thumbs up if you are ready. All right, guys, here we go. Big cross. Two, one, let's go. Good job. Open the chest up. Good. A little bend in your knees. We'll keep your core nice and tight. Three, two, one. Backward circles. Good job. Three, two, now take that arm straight up. Let's bend down, straighten. Okay, activate the tricep a little bit here. Warm up your elbow. And then grab that elbow as you bend it. Pull for three, two, one, and release. Let's go to the other side, big circles. Good, let's just get moving here. This workout is all about strength today, okay? With the short work periods, you will be out of breath, you'll experience some cardio in this workout today too. Okay, switch directions, come forward. Four, three, two, and one. Take that arm up, bend it, straighten, bend. There you go, get your elbows warmed up. Three, two, one, grab the elbow, pull, big stretch back. Great job. All right, hands down to the floor. Take it down nice and wide with your hands. There you go, drop down to your knees. I want you to go down nice and wide, okay? Just nice and slow push-ups, opening up your chest. Good, give me one more. And then I want you to bring your elbows in nice and slow, triceps. Extend nice and straight. Good. These are nice and slow just to get you warmed up. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, and activate your core. All right, good. Tuck your toes down, lift it up. Walk it back, and let's jump into it, okay? We're gonna start with a chest superset. You have chest press for 30 seconds, rest for 15, chest fly, so a heavier and a lighter move. You've got about 25 seconds. We've got three rounds of each, okay? So grab the weights you wanna use for both of those, and let's just have them out. You do still have 15 seconds in between to switch if you wanna go back and grab another weight. Okay, we're starting with chest press. So, let's go in five. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, come on. 30 seconds. Good job, last 15.
five, four, two, one, and rest. Good. Okay, chest fly in 15 seconds. So I've gone from my 30 down to my 10 pound dumbbells, okay? Nine kilograms down to four. Ready? No, not nine kilograms, 13. Ready, let's go. 13 down to four. Nice and wide here. Good, nice pull in. Think of your elbows opening. Nice and rounded, nice and long arms. And then drive those elbows back in towards each other. Seven seconds, let's go. And rest, good. Okay, round two, if you wanna go up, let's go. We're back to chest press, okay? Here we go in four. Come on, three, two, one, let's go. Fifteen, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Chest fly, round number two. Going in fifteen. Got seven seconds now. Ready, two, one, come on. Open. Drive the elbows back. Now, be thinking, if you wanna go up and wait for that last round, be thinking as soon as you're done here, what weights you wanna grab? 15. Five, four, three, two, one, Good job, and we're back. Last round, go up if you would like. I'm gonna stay here, okay? I wanna finish eight to 10 reps for myself here. Okay, let's go in five. Two, one, come on. Fifteen seconds. Seven. Three, two, and rest. Good. Whew. Okay, last round, chest fly. I'm gonna go up to my 15, so six pounds, or seven kilograms, I'm sorry. 15 pounds, seven kilograms. Ready? Let's go. Chest fly, last round. Good. That's it, 15 seconds. Four, three, one more. Two, one, and rest. And you've got 45 seconds until our next set. Go ahead and grab some water. You don't need the bench for this one. If you have your bench out, you can kind of scoot it out of the way. But we've got a heavy move and a light move. Again, I guess the only time you would use your bench for this one would be your overhead tricep extension, okay? So we're going here, bend and push, and if you wanna sit down, that's an option. Okay, right after that, 30 seconds, you go into tricep kickbacks. Okay, so let's start together. Two, one, and we're up. Good, bend, keep those elbows like steel pipes right above your shoulders. Okay, the pipes don't bend to the side. They don't come backwards. Keep them straight up. Four, 
four, three, two, one, and rest. Good. Tricep kickbacks. All right, you can do one arm at a time or two. Okay, I'm gonna try and go for two here. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, come on. Get that flex at the end. Don't just get him back there somewhere. Get there, squeeze, then feel the release in your control as well. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on, let's go. Round two. Show me what you've got here. Tricep overhead extension. If you need to go down, go up. Go for it, push yourself. Four, three, two, one, come on. Good, make sure both hands are equally driving so you're not just putting one hand on top of the other. Both arms, you gotta feel it in both arms. Six, five, three, two, one. Good job. Round number two for your kickbacks. Let's go. Whew. You can always tell when my arms start to burn. I start to do these weird type of things with my feet. <laughs> three, two, one. Come on. Do you feel that squeeze at the back? If not, I suggest go down in weights so you can. Okay, if you can't get to the point where you're here flexing, it might be too heavy. Just moving the dumbbells is not a kickback. Going from bent to extension is a kickback. Good, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, and we've got one more round. Whew. Overhead extension, doing okay? <laughs> We'll do the assisted round. My hands are so tired. Through my arms. Three, two, last round. One, let's go. We're putting in some good work here already. Good challenging weights. That's it. Think about how strong you feel. This is not a coincidence, okay? You've gotten stronger. Working this hard is not effort wasted. Always a really great chance to show yourself. In four, three, two, one, rest. Good. In these shorter work periods of 30 seconds, it gives you the chance, say, I'm only working this much, I can bump those weights up, and you can show yourself what you can do in that 30 seconds, okay? If you don't have weights, two, one, let's go. Last round. If you don't have weights that are more challenging to you, you go more reps, you last for longer without stopping. Okay? Do what you can with what you have until you can bump it up, until you're ready for that. You still work hard regardless. 10. Four, three, come on, one more. Two, one, and beautiful. Whew. All right. You've got some time grab some water or just breathe. We're going into single arm isolation for your chest. So our superset this time will be chest again, but it will be left arm chest press, right arm chest press. Those are your two exercises. So bench, floor, whatever you would like. We've just got single arm, all right? I'm gonna start with my, uh, I'll start with my 30 pound dumbbell, just like it sounds. Okay, one hand has the dumbbell here. Here, 30 seconds. Ready? Let's go in four. Both hands help you get it up there. You release that one at the top. Let's go. Whatever you're doing with your other hand, make sure it's helping you stabilize and keep your chest flat. Nine, eight, two, 
two, one, good, rest. Okay, rest for 15, we go right over to the other side. Same exact thing, okay, I want you coming from side to middle, squeezing into the middle. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, and don't underestimate how powerful the stabilization aspect of this is, okay? So challenging your one chest, shoulder at a time. It's great for as you move up into those heavier dumbbells for chest press, being in control at the bottom. Three, two, one, rest, good. One round down. Whew. All right. Round number two, back to my left arm. Go back to the arm you started with. Three, two, one, let's go. Keep your feet down flat. Good, don't change the path of the dumbbell. So make sure it's not going down and then coming up here. Okay, it shouldn't be a circle, it should be down, straight back up. Five, four, three, two, one, rest, good. So if you look over at me really quick, what I was saying is make sure you're not going down and you're bringing it here to come back up or here, okay? It should come straight down, straight up. All right, let's go again. Two, one, here we go. Straight path. Good job, you got 10 more seconds. Two, one, good. One more round on each arm. Keep that bar path or that dumbbell path straight down, straight back up. So make sure you're not, right? Two, one, let's get it, last round. Beautiful, 13, 12. Four, two, one, rest. Whew. All right, last round on the other side. We're doing great. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Almost there, 15, come on. Transition with power, not out of control. Two, one, rest, good. Oh, okay, Whew. nicely done. Grab some water. We're gonna move single arm tricep superset, okay? We're doing a kickback with this one. You're doing great, guys. So you can have the bench out if you would like. I would say a good part for the bench here would be just a stabilizer to flatten your back. So you can go here, you can go here, or you can just stand and go right here. Let's start with our left arm. I'm gonna go with my 10 pound dumbbell, okay? Three, two, one, here we go. Big push and bend. Good job, leave your elbow pinned at the height that it is. Seven, six, 
two, one, rest. Good, so what I mean by keep your elbow pinned is make sure you don't get tired and start to drop it so that you can extend your arm a little bit lower. Keep it here, full range of motion, okay? All right, other side, let's go. Two, one, come on. Leave it there, leave it right there. Someone has taken a pin and pinned your arm to right between your ribs and your hip. It's not dropping, that elbow stays high, your pinky drives high. Five, four, good job, come on, three, two, one, and rest, perfect. Here we go, we're moving on, round number two. You can go up, let's do it. Okay, I'm going back to same weight, stabilizing on the bench. Let's go in three, two, one, come on, push. That's it, good. We've got nine, eight, three, two, and rest. Beautiful. Back to your right arm or the second arm. Nice work. So proud of you. Keep rocking here. Strong, 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 right? Four, three, two, one, come on. Stabilize everything. Everything is stiff except for your forearm, from your elbow down to your knuckles. Good, think of your tricep muscle, literally pulling your forearm up. Two, one, rest. And we've got one more round on the other side. If you feel good about it, go up. Okay, try it out. Even if you get half of this 30 seconds, try it out. Ready? Two, one, let's go. Good job, 15 seconds left, let's go. Other side, let's go. Last arm here, then we breathe. We move to some chest again, okay? Here we go. Five, three, two, one, let's get it. Good, almost there. 15. Eight, seven, two, one, rest, good. Oh, grab some water. If you wanna jog in place, stay moving, that's fine. It's all about strength today, okay? Okay, so we move down to standing chest fly, standing isometric, chest, press, pulse. Okay, so standing chest fly, you're taking your hands out from the side, crossing them up into the middle. So think of your elbow crossing in toward your sternum. Okay, then you're gonna take that dumbbell, both hands on the edge, driving your palms in through the middle like you're trying to punch each other, right here. Okay, so let's start here in, mm, sorry, eight seconds. I know I started you late, sorry about that. Here we go, four, three, two, one, come on. 30 seconds right here. Think of driving your bicep and your elbow in towards the midline of your body, keeping this elbow just a little bit bent.
12, 11, 4, 3, 2, 1, good. Drop one of those dumbbells and if you need to drop the weight, that's fine. I think I'll start with my 10 for this one. So literally you're just driving your palms like you're trying to high five yourself here at your chest. In, out, in, out, three, two, one, let's go. Good, if you notice it's floating a little, come back to the middle, push harder with that arm. 15, 14. 8, 7, 4, 3, 2, 1, good, rest, and we're back, standing, flies, okay, open it back up, you're doing great, here we go, 4, 3, open chest, 2, 1, pull across. Good. That's it, stay with me. Keep your chest and hips straight. I just caught myself twisting just a little. Don't do that, okay? We're correcting ourselves, we're back here. Five, three, two, one, rest. Good, back to that isometric drive. And you can also hold it by just the top dumbbell, okay? Or the top edge of your dumbbell. You're just squeezing together as hard as you can. Two, one, let's go. Good, if you need to bend a little bit, if that helps, that's fine. Just squeezing together. Think of how you feel when you're doing a chest fly. You're pulling here in towards the middle. So what we're doing here, drive those arms together. Two, one, rest. And we've got one more round of both standing flies. Can you go up? Make sure your wrists are strong, they don't fold here. Okay, two, one, let's go. I'm rocking with my same weight. I wanna keep this same Really great form. That's it. 15. 8, 7, good job. 6, 5. 3, Two, one, and rest for 15. And we go one last round, driving in that isometric hold. Here we go, five. You're doing awesome. Three, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds right here. And if you just wanna stay and squeeze, don't move at all, that's also fine. I like to think about the bottom edges of my hand driving together. Good, like the pinky finger side. Good, stay with me if you're shaking. You're not alone, <laughs> come on. There you go. Let's go seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful job. Grab some water. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move into heavier uh, tricep move and body weight tricep move. Okay, you're doing fantastic, guys. So we've got a skull crusher and then tricep push up to up dog. Remember we did that one last week? I want you to get better at that and I feel like a lot of people made a good connection with their body awareness on that. Okay, so the skull crusher. You're taking one dumbbell here, bend, extend, or two dumbbells, keep
Keeping them locked together, bend, extend. Okay, your tricep push up to down dog. You're going down, okay, elbows glide past the ribs. If you need to go to your knees, that's fine. Come up, down dog. Now as soon as you come out of your down dog, flex. Okay, that really helps with your push up. So, let's start with those tricep overhead extensions. Okay, I'm gonna start with my 25, and we'll go in 10 seconds. All right, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Good, I like to keep my elbows slanted back just a little bit. Good job, you've got eight, seven, four, three, two, one, good. All right, I moved my bench out of the way as much as I could here <laughs> so we can get right into those tricep push-ups. Okay, on your knees or on your toes. Let's go in three, two, one, here we go. Giving myself just a little target here with my dumbbell. Two, one, rest, good. And we're back, skull crushers. All right, let's go again. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Straight arm extension. Come on, get that straight arm. Eight, seven, five, Four, three, two, one, good. Whew. All right, let's go again. Tricep. Are you ready? Four, three, close elbows. Two, one, come on. Good job, 15 seconds down, 15 to go. Four, three, and rest. One last round, let's go. Grab that dumbbell, lay it back, throw it up. Three, two, one, let's do it. Last round. Good job. 12 seconds, come on. I'm with you. It's burning me too. My arms are shaking too. Four, three, Two, one, and rest. Come on back. Let's finish this one out. Okay. Seven, six. Come on. Strong, strong, strong. You're almost there. Ready. Let's go. Breathe with me, come on. Breathe in. That's it, you're right there. Three, two, and rest. Whew. 
Okay. Oh boy. We're almost there. Grab some water. You've got about 45 seconds to breathe and drink water if you can lift your bottle. Okay. We're almost there. You've got a body weight burnout type of ladder. Okay. So you don't need any more dumbbells. And if you have a bench for dips, you can pull that out, okay? If you have a bench or a couch or a table of some kind, all you need is something just about knee height for dips, okay? So if you don't have a bench, you're going right onto the ground right here, okay? So that's your dip. Your push-up can be any style of push-up, but we're going wide. So it can be on your knees, it can also be inclined, it can be on your toes. You're taking your arms out so that your elbows bend to 90 degrees, okay? On your knees, on your toes, or on an incline, all right? We're going two of each, then we're going three of each, then four of each, then five of each. In 10 seconds, you're going for as many reps as you can for two and a half minutes, okay? Let's start with dips, ready? Two and two. Three, two, one, let's go. Two dips, come on down, two push-ups. Come back up and reset for three dips. Okay, whatever that looks like for you, whether it's on the bench, on the floor. Now these will be the lower numbers where you can go a little bit tougher on your challenges. Good job, you're looking for two minutes and 30 seconds on the clock, okay? You just keep counting. If you get done with three, you go to four of each. Then you go to five of each. Come on, come on, come on. First minute is done. Let's go, keep rocking. Shake it when you need to, keep rocking. Feel your own strength here. And as you start to get tired, I know it's happening. Don't compromise your form. Even if you need to pull your legs up under you for these dips, don't sink away so that your shoulders take all the load, okay? Same thing with your push-ups. If you need to go to your knees, let's go. Just do your best. Good job, you've got one minute left. Good job, 45. Come on, I'm with you, I'm with you. Twenty-five seconds. Eight, seven, three, and rest. Drop down to your knees. Reach your hands out forward. You have made it to your cool down. Amazing job, there are no surprises. Breathe, 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 I know. Walk your hands out far away from your hips. Relax, inhale, exhale. Good, now take that left arm out to the side. Drop your forearm and your bicep onto the floor. Okay, use this other arm to push and rotate, so you're opening your chest here. Beautiful work today. Good, let's switch that over to the other arm. Take it out to the side. Forearm is on the ground. Use this hand to push and open. I am so proud of you today. Way to go. 
This was all about strength. It was all about pushing, 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 literally, weights and yourself. That burnout at the end, how many of you mentally felt defeated when we started? Okay, but physically, you made it, right? Whatever it looked like, modifications, come on up. Modifications, stopping a little bit. If you mentally already said, I can't do this, you know how tough that is for you? That's not fair to yourself, so don't doubt yourself. Do what you can. If you have to drop down, that's part of the process. <sighs> Big deep breath, good. Take your arms to your side, straight up overhead. Open up the lats here. <sighs> Take your left arm, bend it up over top. Push it down with your thumb. Good job. I'm so proud of you today. Make sure you're not doubting yourself from the get-go. Switch arms. Make sure you're not mentally defeating yourself before you even start to try something new. Before you even step up to the plate on what could be demanding in terms of your next best version of yourself. But you're ready for that. Okay, if you can envision that next best version of yourself standing right over there and saying, come on, we are ready, let's go, just do it. Okay, I'm all about visualization and all about putting you in the predicament to where you can actually see it happening. Okay, pull your fingers down underneath your elbow. If you can see it happening, how enticing is that to do whatever it takes to make it come to life, right? Whatever it is for you right now, if that's a business step up for yourself, if that's a personal step up for yourself with fitness, nutrition, okay, flip it over, pull back again. Is that something where you're doing your best you, you can with starting a fitness journey right now? That's wonderful. That's a big step, okay? Flip it over. If it's doing the best you can right now, I know we have a lot of expecting moms that are working out that are just making it work, okay? It'll probably look different than what it did before this time, right? But you're doing your best and you're making it work and that next best version of you is waiting every day, okay? The mom is to be. Keep rocking, it looks different, you're doing incredible, okay? You're doing what's healthy for you and ultimately what's help healthy for your family, okay? Big deep breath in, reach up. If you're coming back from an injury, if you're starting new, you're starting fresh, you're just beginning or you're someone who's been in the game for a while and you're just trying to level up, every single one of those predicaments represents someone that just worked out with us today and every single one of those people has the potential to do better for themselves each day. To do things like this, drinking water, eating food that makes you feel good, sleeping, hydrating, still I said drinking water already, sorry about that, but re-emphasizing, hydrate, okay? Do the things that make you feel healthy, make you feel strong, make you happy, mental health, self-care, self-love, whatever that relationship is for you, you've got to do those things, okay? That brings that next best version of you to life. So let's work towards becoming that version of ourselves. We always have the blessing of that potential. Okay, so I want you to comment below. What is one thing you're gonna immediately do after this that's going to bring that next best version of you closer to your current present reality? Okay, and we're gonna do that together. So make sure you head out, comment below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know. And then, most importantly, go out and do it. All right, I'll see you tomorrow.